All right, guys, I'm gonna make a quick video. This is a bit different from what I usually make, but it's gonna be mainly like a tuning video. So I recently put 19 T's on this car, N54, FBO, uh, everything's done to it. You know, if you guys see my channel, you guys will see what I've done to it. But recently I've upgraded from 17 T eBay turbos to 19 T eBay turbos. Uh, the V4, really good. I might upload that video after or before this video, but check out the channel for that. But anyways, uh, the main thing I want to go to through today is the tuning problem I'm running into, which is, so he says that the DME is drawing too much fuel because the AFRs, which is the air fuel ratio is, um, I guess off. So what I did have, I recently had a bank two signal, uh, code, the O2 sensor after the cat, but I did remember it had come on and the reason I believe it came on was because this is a aftermarket O2 sensor. This is from Walker, I believe, a Walker O2 sensor. Not 100% sure, but it's not OEM. It's not a Bosch one. So what I'm trying to go through this is I'll probably put up on the screen. Um, I, I ran the car, was looking at the live data, noticed, I personally noticed that the bank two sensor two was acting really really slow um normally normally the rear o2 sensor should always be stable from what i know because the catalytic converter is cleaning everything and it should stay stable but obviously most of us don't run cats on these n54s especially for fbo so from what i know the front o2 should be erratic just like the rear O2 should be erratic, copying the front one because there is no cat there filtering it. So when I upload the, you know, the live data right now, you guys will see that bank two sensor two remains like, I think at 800 volts or something like that, or 800 millivolts. And it doesn't really move at all compared to bank one sensor one. I mean, bank one sensor two, which is an OEM uh, sensor. I've been having that one on for a while. And then everything points to this, basically, uh, looking at the live data. Although the check engine light hasn't come on in a long time, according to the live data that I've seen right now, it looks like this is basically reacting sort of kind of slow or not within specs because it's not OEM. So obviously what I did was uh, go to um, AutoZone and get one of these for 100 bucks. This is Bank 2 Sensor 2. I already installed it. It's pretty simple. It's not going to be an install video. It's more of an explanation video. And on top of that, I put new filters on just because my old ones were completely disgusting. And maybe might be restricting airflow. Who knows? But uh, just to be safe, we put new ones on as well. But I just want to document this just to compare. I'm going to pull up the live data when I go on the second run right now and see if this fixes the issue. If not, then, you know, I guess, oh, well, but most of my diagn diagnosing so far is pointing to that O2 sensor. And like I said, I just put a new Bosch OEM one in there. One new Bosch uh, sensor and the other one is also Bosch. And that, one's, that one is fairly new, too. I barely put that on like a few months ago as well um, because I also got a code for that as well. But here we go. I'm going to test drive it. Pull up the live data, show you guys if it improved or got worse or stayed the same or whatever. But if it does fix it, then hopefully this helps somebody's uh help some of you guys out. Alright, so as we can see from the live data, it actually did fix it because if you look at bank one sensor two and bank two sensor two, they're basically doing the exact same thing. Unlike when we look at the old data bank two sensor two was not even coming down to zero uh and was not matching uh the other bank which in my diagnosis i guess would mean that it was the o2 sensor all along because obviously they were not matching each other which they should be at least uh, one bank from another um so yeah that's pretty much it it ended up fixing it make sure you use oem o2 sensors either for your primary O2 sensors or secondary O2 sensors, make sure to use uh, OEM Bosch sensors.